Yehovah, please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name, Amen. Start with the Shema, listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with Himself, and you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Revelation chapter 7. After this I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, so that no wind would blow on the land, on the sea, or any tree. I saw another angel coming up from the east with a seal from the living God, and he shouted to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and the sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. I heard how many were sealed, 144,000 from every tribe of the people of Israel. From the tribe of Yehuda, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were she- she- sealed. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Menashiah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Shimon, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Yosef, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. After this I looked. And there before me was a huge crowd, too large for anyone to count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. And they shouted, Victory to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne. The elders and the four living beings, they fell face down before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory, wisdom and thanks, honor and power and strength belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. One of the elders asked me, These people dressed in white robes, who are they? And where are they from? Sir, I answered, you know. Then he told me, These are the people who have come out of the great persecution. They have washed their robes and made them white with the blood of the Lamb. That is why they are before God's throne. Day and night they serve Him in His temple. And the one who sits on the throne will put His Shekhanah upon them. They will never again be hungry. They will never again be thirsty. The sun will not beat down on them, nor will any burning heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will shepherd them, will lead them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. John pulls quite a bit from the Tanakh on this. They will never again be hungry. They will never again be thirsty. The sun The sun will not beat down on them, nor will any burning heat. That comes from Isaiah 49.10. Isaiah 49.10. Isaiah, where are you at today? (laughs) It's back further. Isaiah 48.10. Look, I have refined you, but not as severely as silver. Rather, I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. We'll shepherd them, we'll lead them to springs of living water. 
as well, Isaiah 49.10. Look, I have refined you, but not as severely as silver. Rather, I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. Also, Jeremiah 2.13. Jeremiah 2.13. For my people have committed two evils. They have abandoned me, the fountain of living water, and dug themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. As well as Ezekiel 34.23. I will raise up one shepherd to be in charge of them, and he will let them feed my servant David. He will pasture them and be their shepherd. Psalm 23, 1 and 2. A Psalm of David. Jehovah is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He has me lie down in grassy pastures, he leads me by quiet water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Isaiah 25, 8. Isaiah 25, 8. He will swallow up death forever. Jehovah Elohim will wipe away the tears from every face, and he will remove from all the earth, from all the earth, the disgrace his people suffer. For Jehovah has spoken. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading Revelation 7? We can learn some wisdom of things to come. I can get to the right page. Know that John, who went to heaven, looked down and said, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth. We might not put all our eggs in the NASA basket. When thinking about the earth, trust that these four angels have control of the winds of the earth. They hold the wind back. Trust that John sees an additional angel coming up from the east with a seal from Jehovah. He shouted to the four angels not to harm the land or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the servants of our Elohim on their foreheads. Know that John is clear who and how many and from where. We're sealed from the tribes of Yehuda 12,000, Reuben 12,000, Gad 12,000, Asher 12,000, Niphtali 12,000, Menashea 12,000, Shimon 12,000, Levi 12,000, Yisachar 12,000, Zebulun 12,000, Yosef 12,000, Benjamin 12,000. Know that John says he then looked in a huge crowd from every nation, tribe, and people, language to too large for anyone to count, were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes, holding palm branches in their hands, and they shouted, Victory to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Know that all the angels, elders, and the four living beings, they fall on their face down before the throne and worship Jehovah, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks, honor, power, and strength belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. Know that one of the elders tells John who these 144,000 are. They are the people who have come out of the great persecution. They have washed their robes and made them white with the blood of the Lamb. And this is why they are before God's throne. Day and night they serve Him in his temple, and the one who will put his Shekhanah upon them. They will never again be hungry or thirsty or hot from the sun or any burning heat. The lamb at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of living water, and Jehovah will wipe away every tear from their eyes. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can share that it is by the atoning blood of the lamb that our sins are washed away. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. 
How can we bear one another's burdens? We can humble ourselves and share the good news of Yeshua the Messiah found in the Tanakh with all those around us. In this Purim Holy Day, with an Arionic blessing, Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen. <laughs> 